Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our point and click community here for people with limited to no IT experience. Lately, I made some videos about installing Windows 11, and I mean Microsoft Windows 11, on unsupported systems. Would I suggest to do it? At this point, I would say no. And the reason for this is because I'm not sure if Microsoft sends an update sooner or later, what prevents that and maybe disable it. I'm not sure about this. I wouldn't do it. Now we are people with no to limited IT experience, so we don't like Linux systems. However, I really enjoy using my Fedora. But if you are liking Microsoft Windows and enjoy the Windows 11 user interface, I would say install Windows FX. And that's what we are going to do today. It's based on Linux, but I show you how easy the install is. It's point and click, just like it's made for us, for the point and click community. First, we have to download our ISO file, uh, the link will be in the description of this video so scroll down and you find the link down there and i chose the free edition that's the other part of it a lot of this stuff is free the whole operating system is free and it comes loaded with a lot of free software next we need a software to make a bootable flash drive if you install that on a physical machine I'm using Rufus and you will find a link in the description again. So if you don't have Rufus, download a copy of it. It's also free. But back to our Windows FX downloads, you see you have the two options. You have a Windows 11 theme option or Windows 10. So we select the 11 and start the download. Now let's open Rufus and create our bootable flash drive. Your download is probably in your downloads folder. So all we have to do here is select where that ISO image is. And that's it, and click on open. Everything else you can leave at default here. And you get here a notice. You can just keep it like it is and give it a try. And if it don't work, go and select the DD image. But usually it works perfect if you have write in ISO image mode selected. I'm doing the install on a virtual machine, but it is the same as for physical machines. So insert your flash drive, your bootable flash drive, in your physical machine and reboot it and make sure it boots from that flash drive. Here we go and it starts. So far, so good. Now, the operating system is still running from that flash drive. We have to install it. And to install it, it's really easy. When you look up, there is install system. So all we have to do is double click on install system up there and the install will begin. In case you are not a subscriber, please do me a favor, subscribe to my channel. 
Also hit the like button on that video. It really helps me out a lot. So let's move on with that install. It just steps you through like it would step you through on a Microsoft operating system. It is really, really easy. So here we click next, and then we select a time zone, just use something what is close to you, so you are in the right time zone. It's not a big deal, it will be not exactly the city where you live in. Uh, next we have to format or erase the disk, the original disk, make sure it's not your flash drive, don't think that would work. We go next. Now we create a user account, password, just the usual stuff and hit next and we are good to go and the install starts. Now we remove the flash drive and reboot our machine. And here we go. We have our logon screen. Just type in your password and log in. Now we get presented with some system settings. We can adjust this. For now, I don't want to adjust them. I want to leave them like they are. They're popped. Uh, Security update also up. You can install it now or later. For now, I'm just closing this out. And you see the screen size is not correct. And that's because I'm running it on a virtual machine. So I have to install drivers for that. And you can skip all that. I leave it in that video just in case somebody installs it as a virtual machine. I will not do any explanation because it will confuse the heck out of us because we have no computer experience. So please skip that part. You can look at it, but skip what I'm doing here. Okay, now that I have the drivers installed, I probably, where you guys are, I have the full screen of my newly installed Windows FX. So let's take a look at my office applications. As you can see, I have only Office installed locally and I have my Microsoft Office Online. All I ne need to do is connect my Microsoft account. But before I do this, I notice the red button on the right side of my taskbar down there and it is uh, systems updates available. So we are installing these updates first before we move on to connecting our Microsoft account to this machine.
now the easiest way for me to connect to the Microsoft account. I open the Microsoft Edge web browser here. Next, I click on the Windows icon on my taskbar and select my Drive 1. And under here, authentication address, I just leave a blank and just hit log in. This way I go around all that stuff with whatever they say with the web page and stuff. Just click OK on this one. And now it asks you for your Microsoft sign in. So let's sign in here. Okay, now let's click on the cloud down here. i put my email address for my Microsoft account in there. And that's it. It should sync up. I'm not diving in the software install in today's video. I will do this at a future time. However, I like Firefox, so let's install Firefox. You just click on that Windows Store icon in your taskbar and search for the software you want. Like I said, I want Firefox installed on this system. And here it is. Just click on it and it will install it. And that's how easy it is. I just noticed there are four updates there for some programs. We can do this later. Now let's start Firefox, just to make sure it is installed correctly. And there it is. Okay, I think that's it for this week. Please, if you are not a subscriber to my channel, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out. I appreciate it very much. Also hit the like button on this video and you have all a wonderful week.